And I think the program probably started as an associate's program maybe 30, 35 years ago. They added a bachelor's program probably 25 years ago. And basically what we do in the program is the students going through the program are, uh, they could do a number of things. They might be learning about uh, you know, designing the product. They might end up working in the processing end of the field. They might work in quality control. We have a lot of students that are working in sales and management and whatnot. So anything they need to know about plastic, how to design the stuff, what material to choose, how to run the product, um, that's what we're hopefully teaching them what they're going to be uh, doing when they get out of here. Starting out freshman year, it's a lot of just getting to know each and every rubber and then moving on from there and moving into more difficult rubbers and then moving on to like the bigger machines like the injection presses and some of the bigger compression presses and going on from there and just learning a little bit more and more each year. Basically as you come in as a freshman, you, you start off, of course you know nothing, and they start you off in an intro class and you basically learn the equipment and from then you go on into using the equipment and being comfortable with it, being able to set it up from nothing. And from there you go into doing design, design type work. And now where I'm at, you do actual compound development and playing with the machines to actually do experiments to see if you can change the part properties based on the machine parameters that you change. Probably biggest compliments we get all the time is that, boy, we hire a Ferris Plastics grad and they're, they're they know how to run the machine, they know how to uh, set things up, optimize the process, they don't need a lot of training, so that's probably one of our strong points, I would say. The reason I chose plastic in particular is because if you think about it, it's, it's something that's kind of out of the ordinary to learn. I was just looking for something different, not the mainstream. I was always interested in engineering. It's not your typical, oh, I'll go get a business degree, I'll go learn about finance. The plastics program here is very renowned, you know, nationwide. Hands-on, it's really different compared to other majors. It's strictly hands-on. So that's why I chose. And then once getting into it, I discovered that there's, there's a lot of stuff about plastics that the average person doesn't know. One of the, uh, one of the important parts of the uh, plastics program is that, uh, first of all, it's a unique uh, study. There are very few university-level plastic programs. The, we can count them on one hand, as a matter of fact. And the need for plastics, as you are aware, is it's, it's ubiquitous. And so people that are processing plastic, making plastic, selling plastic, designing plastic, they all need to harvest our students from the same pool. And so our students have a 100% job placement, which is, which is really quite good. And uh, that is one of the exciting parts of the program. It's a matter of them not finding a job. It's a matter of them choosing which of the many job offers that they want. All the, all the professors are, I would say, extremely knowledgeable in plastics. Like, there hasn't been one problem that I've had where they didn't know a reason behind it or weren't able to solve it in any way. In both plastics and rubber, you definitely get um, help whenever you need it. The rubber program, with Mr. Yang, one of our professors here. He's uh, very dedicated to the program, and I mean, he basically stays here every night. I, I swear all he does is go home and just go to sleep, so anytime you can come in here, and he will be here, and he will help you learn whatever you want to learn. One of the nice things about the program, really, is that you can go into a number of areas within the field if you're the hands-on kind of person that uh, you know, rebuilt engines with dad when you were a kid or whatever, you can, you can work in something you know, on the machines with the tooling. If you're the kind of person that doesn't want to be in a factory, doesn't want to be working with machines, they go into program management and sales and things like that. So it offers a little bit for, uh, for everybody. My favorite part would be the CAD, the computer-aided drafting. I like the program because um, it offers a wide variety of uh, different opportunities. We get to learn uh, hands-on with the, the machines out there, all the way down to the tool design in the classroom. Pretty much all the labs are pretty fun, but mostly I'd say computer stuff, simulation. We are really the only game in town when it comes to plastics. There are only a handful of bachelor's programs in the country. We're the only one in Michigan. Um, there's one in Massachusetts. There is one in uh, uh, Washington, I believe. There's one in uh, uh, Pennsylvania and whatnot. So one of the unique things about the program is simply that you know, when you graduate with a, a bachelor's in plastics or rubber, there's not a lot of competition. We have, there are hundreds of companies in Michigan looking for people that are knowledgeable about plastics. We have individuals that are working in Europe, individuals that are working in Asia, and of course individuals that are traveling to those locations to work uh, in the global market. Automobile, industry, medical, now with Grand Rapids moving up in the medical area, medical disposables, uh, uh, furniture, 
all markets are used. Really, any plastics major could choose. I mean, there's so many fields to go down. There's eight different ways to process plastic, and that alone leaves thousands of companies that you could potentially work for all over the U.S. I plan to go, uh, get a fair State degree in the Plastic Engineering program along with a Business Administration degree. I uh, hope to start my own company uh, to compete with uh, international companies, injection molding companies and such. My whole thing is I want to get into some sort of product or research and development. Right now I'm looking at several companies, medical, um, a couple in Michigan, a couple over on the East Coast. We want people to be aware of the program, uh, be aware of the opportunities that are out there. They're good jobs, they're good paying jobs. Uh, they're not jobs that are going overseas, they're secure jobs. So uh, again, give us a call, come down, look at the building, look at the, look at the program. Come join Plastics, you won't be sorry. The program's definitely expanding into a lot of interesting fields, so come check it out.